well hello today it's Wednesday and I'm on my way to the market we're gonna go to town which is taking a bus uh, with my son he's in the stroller and we're gonna buy some fabrics Shope. Shope. So in the bus sometimes newborn props can be found in the most unexpected places so this is a scarf and it's currently one euros at the Primark. I love the color and it's beautiful as a wrap for a newborn. We have it in gray as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. These ones don't have stretch so you can't really use them to wrap. So we're back, I'm in the studio right now. So yeah, I thought I would just show you what we bought um, in, at the market yesterday. Well, first at the Primark, I bought this scarf. I showed you in the store as well. Um, original price, five euros, now on sale for, very shocking, one euros. Uh, I like that it's stretchy uh, in the length and like this. So it's just a scarf and it's this teal green color that's very popular at the moment. Um, so I can use it as a wrap, as a basket filler, as a layer when it's folded double. So I really like it, so I'm going to wash it at home and then use it during newborn shoots. Very nice for both boys and girls. Um, so yeah, what else did I buy? I bought this piece of material. It's a beautiful, like dusty pink color. Um, it has uh, some structure. It's actually quite fun because on this side, like on the good side, it's like this. And then on the inside, it looks a little bit different. Um, so I can use actually both sides. And I bought this one because it's nice and stretchy, which is for me really important when I use it on the beanbag. I want it to be stretchy because uh, then you don't get any creases when you stretch out your fabric. So I'm going to wash it at home and then use it. I really love this dusty pink color. Uh, I bought two meters. It was only two euros per meter. And I'm only going to use one meter and 50 centimeters on the beanbag. Well, that's pretty much what I need. But I bought two meters because I'm going to cut off a little part. I think about... 20 centimeters wide just from the bottom and then I can use it as a matching wrap when I use this fabric on the beanbag anyway now I'm setting up the beanbag and I'm gonna use the um, like a dusty pink colored backdrop I bought at the market and because um, she likes like earthy tones white and dusty pink so I'm gonna use that for the first shoot and then for the second shoot uh, I think it was also the earthy tones uh, that the parents liked so I'm uh, setting up so here we have the wraps, some headbands, and the backdrop. I bought, actually I bought two pieces of fabric, which I'm gonna use to make headbands. Okay, so now I have three colors, and I think they match really nice together. So I'm gonna craft some headbands, um, and I'll, I'll probably do it at home when I'm with my daughter, because uh, she likes to craft along with me, and then she can make like, Headbands for herself or for her dolls or something. Okay, so I got seven packages from AliExpress. I'm gonna show some screenshots of the products, the store I bought it from and the prices at the time I bought it. Um, so if you wanna know the vendor, pause the video when I show the screenshot, look for the name or I might post them in the description below this video. So what do I have here? A uh, little package says uh, party supplies. Party supplies. Oh, this is so cute. Fun in the forest. Um, it's actually like a garland. This is what's inside. 
and I might use it during a cake smash session to hang in the back when there's like a woodland themed cake smash session like for example here you see a little squirrel so the material it feels like felt um, which is nice because then if a baby with uh, cakey hands might accidentally touch it I think you'll be able to clean it by hand not in the washing machine um, yeah so there is a burlap uh, string and then some like uh, wooden cloth, cloth pins uh, so you can pin them on um, if I'm not going to use this during the cake smash session I might just use it as a crafty project with my kids next package it says dress oh I think this is a really cool one no yeah this is also a cool one it's not the one I was thinking but anyway <laughs> so this is a dark blue it's almost black like it looks almost black um, it's a lace dress that I can use during a maternity shoot. Um, so it's see-through, it's lace, it's a little bit long. It looks almost black, but it should be dark blue. Um, I had one lady bringing this with her herself. So we took some photos while she was wearing this. Then I got a request from a pregnant lady booking a maternity session asking if I had uh, dark blue dresses I have one other dark blue dress which she saw on my website and which she really loves and then I thought okay I'll just order this one as well because I already used it with someone else during a shoot but she brought it herself and she took it back home but now other people will see that and they like it and they want to use it during a maternity session so I bought it myself uh, I already I already have this same dress in white so now I have it in two colors I bought the size it says extra large um, I think the white one I have in extra extra large um, This one compares to a small probably so extra large um, Aliexpress is like a small or medium sized European I think um, So yeah beautiful dress next This one says balloons pink balloons very thin Ooh, and very small as well so yeah, I use a lot of balloons during cake smash sessions. I won't blow it up too much because I don't want the kids to uh, destroy, the, like pop the balloons with their nails or their teeth. So I'll probably blow it up like this. And their head is like this size as well. So you don't want to have it any bigger. It's almost the size of my head. Because um, then if they play with the balloon, you won't see the child anymore. So I might even have it a little bit smaller. Um, it's a nice color. I like that it's like matte it's not super shiny so it won't reflect my light setup like my softbox in the balloon on the photo balloons balloons so i have some more balloons here gold and silver and blue balloons um same idea i guess i just want to try out one of the golden ones <laughs> it feels so small and tiny um my balloons that i usually have are a little bit bigger and thicker so this is the gold it looks quite yellow I can pass this gold probably. Okay, so yeah, another package says description of contents, contents sequence. I ordered some more of these golden uh, circles that I could hang in the back. I already used them before during sitter session, cake smash sessions, and I bought a few strings, so now I have a few more strings. So I don't have to unpack them right now, but this is pretty much what it is. Ah, this is another garland, which I quite liked. It says Animal Forest Light Garland. So here in the back you see the figures. Uh, they're made of paper, but they're pre-cut. There's a little rope, so you can just hang them in the background when someone wants to have like uh, animal forest themed cake smash session. Here, another package. Paper cards. Strings with uh, paper stars. Always nice to hang in the background during a cake smash session. Before I cut out the stars myself, glued them on like um, a little string. Lots of work. So now I have some extras. This one is just Light blue, dark blue. Hello. Hello. Oh, oh really? Ah, oh, look at it. Yum, yum, yum. Mooie taal. Look at it. Wat zijn jou? Okay, 
with a little cake smash uh, decor. Yes, yeah, so I have two more packages from AliExpress. Um, this one says banners, streamers, and confetti. They're very cute. So here we have two sets, one pink and one blue, um, for cake smash sessions to put in the back. There you go. I like this. I can hang it in the background. It's actually a lot bigger than I expected. Um, so it says one on burlap, a little flex, and then it has blue ribbons. Uh, and I got a similar one in pink. Most of the parents still want to have pink or blue decor during cake smash session. I do themed cake smash sessions as well. I do Cookie Monster, I do like a beach sea theme. I do um, just different things, like unicorns and stuff like that. Um, but I also have just this ooh, um, garland now to hang in the background. And you can make it like wider or smaller because you can actually move around the ribbons. And I think it's really cute. So for now, this would be the setup. So as far as banners, really simple. Just the one I showed before, which I see now needs to be adjusted a little bit because otherwise the other side is a lot wider. I think now it's better, yes. So looking cute. Let me just take some test shots. Anyway, I wanna thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. It's a little bit different than my other videos where I show behind the scene shots or how I make props. Uh, but anyway, it, there's still photography related things that I bought, most of them for cake smash sessions. But um, watching, like, like, subscribe and leave a comment and then I'll see you in the comments. And you'll soon see me in my next video. Bye-bye.